pull vectors are made to act and work with IK rigs. So for this video, we're going to go ahead and open our former dinosaur, which we've been working on in the previous videos. And the next thing we're going to do is attach an IK to this, which we'll do by simply going to skeleton and then we're going to click on create IK handle and make this sticky. Next thing I'm going to go and click the first bone and click the last which is the corresponding bone just to make sure that we have our IK up and running. After this is done we're going to go ahead and create a controller which I'm going to place at the point in our scene. With the controller in place, the next thing which we're going to do is go ahead and freeze our transformation. You can freeze your transformation by simply coming to modify and then freeze your transformation. Now we've frozen our transformation, I'll go ahead and select our controller and also go ahead and select our pull vector. And now I've selected the pull vector, I'll come over to constraint and then just simply click on pull vector constraint. With this up and running and ready to go, now if I move our IK, I can simply select the pull vector and then position the IK bone or position our bone wherever we want it to be. And this is how you create a pull vector for your IK rig. Other things to also note is that now our IK now simply has an IK blend, it has a row and an offset and then you can also see that it has pull vector X, Y and Z all tied to it which is actually the present location where the pull vector is pulling from. And if you have questions about this video, please don't forget to drop them in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to share this video with your friends, give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Peace.